ladies and gentlemen, the mess is on with Roseanne. Um, and there's, I don't know why there's a Stalin tarot card in the middle of the screen or something. Um, maybe they're playing the, uh, the communist version of that. What's that thing where you put it on your forehead and you have to, people have to guess who you are, that kind of shit. Anyways, uh, this is Roseanne Barr uh, and it, you can tell, uh, the mess's movie is doing very poorly because he's on Roseanne. So a little bit, of, a little slice of this. We're not going to do this. There are going to be guys who go, well, you know, I'm not Trump Dinesh and, uh, and I, I didn't go in the Capitol in January 6th and, and I pay my taxes. I'm a good guy. So I don't have anything to worry about. The police state is never coming after me. I'm never going to hear the FBI. Oh, my fucking God. First of all, this dude is promoting a movie uh, called Police State because the, the, the DOJ is coming for everybody who's a conservative. Meanwhile, he's at Roseanne's fucking, I think, her Hawaii house on her fucking podcast in this in air conditioning i'm sure there's a cold icy beverage right in front of him but please tell me how the world's coming crashing down. uh battering ram or the helicopter over my lawn and i'm like well no not over the lawn over the house i mean unless they're landing there i guess why would they take a heli why would they use the helicopter over your That's from probably a shot from a movie. Eh, don't be too so sure because there are a lot of ordinary people, some of them school board moms who go to school board meetings because yeah. they don't like what their kids are getting in school. Uh, and they discover that they're being watched. They end up. Yeah, but not by, you know, nobody's knocking their door in or uh, landing a helicopter on their fucking house and attacking them. They, uh, they, they're only being watched because they were leaving death threats for the vice principal up on these lists uh, people yes the list you you're on the list charlie lighten up francis people who went to washington dc around january 6th but they didn't yeah just vaguely around the uh, any january 6th not even 2021 <laughs> they were even like it was january 6th in the mid 80s and I somehow made the list go to the trump rally must have been y2k just reset all the Fucking Wait, they didn't go in the Capitol and they're on a watch list and they're federal march. <laughs> yeah, they 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 didn't go in the Capitol. They just bear sprayed a cop outside, uh, beat them with a bike rack and ran away. So, I mean, did they really need to do anything bad? Yes, yeah, some of them were in the ghost buses. Dun, 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 dun. Following them around to this day. So all this kind of crap. They don't know where they live by now. Uh, they're following them around, are they? I'm just going to float an idea that these people you're talking to who say that people are following them um, are simply paranoid assholes. No one is following them. And the scariest thing they can imagine is nobody actually gives a shit about them. They're a bunch of self-important dickheads who think they should be public enemy number one on behalf of Trump. But no one's worried about them because they're just dickheads. Craziness is in the movie. Um, and, uh, and and I think the left is a little startled because they can't challenge it. It's all going on. There's not a... Uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, it's not worth challenging. Oh, by the way, I, I did this asshole's other movie and he tried to copyright strike it like a fucking coward. But, uh, and, and I mean, essentially, that's why I had to create... Where is it? This fella. Da 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 dun 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 dun. Da 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 dun 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 dun. Da 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 dun dun. You prick ya. Single fact in the movie that's even open to dispute. Um, that's because there aren't any facts in the movie. Ha ha! The guy the way around it. And so, I think the movie has a very unnerving experience about people who are. Yes, it's uh, poorly lit, poorly put together. It's a little nauseating. You know, you're, you know, you're halfway through your box of juji fruits and you're like i gotta go still and many republicans many conservatives still mm. think you know we're still we're living in a free society don't get too excited um we have nothing to really worry about the pendulum uh -huh. swings over here but it's gonna swing back well no sometimes pendulums don't swing back they they don't. that's right sometimes they just start swinging and they and then they defy gravity and they stop because the space-time continuum is controlled by demons. That's true.
I don't know if you guys know that, but that is a fact. I don't know how, I don't know if you uh, like that or not, but it's, uh, it's totally real. Listen to this fellow, he'll tell you. It's, he likes to call it police state, but if you jumble up the letters, it's which is, of course, demon speak for I own you. Swing this way and they stay there. And I'm not a swinger. I, I'm just in an open. I'm, I consider myself pansexual. Mainly because of the goat legs. And it takes a horrible set of circumstances. Catastrophic war in the case of the Nazis. The, you know, implode. The Roseanne Barr podcast. You know, some of the great tragedies of human existence. ...of a whole society in the case of the Soviet Union, and only then do you get change. Right, right, right. So, so you like Russia now, and you think the change after the Soviet Union was an improvement. Uh, I, I mean, it's a little bit like getting AIDS from your open heart surgeon, but whatever. That's what really astounds me is that the left who, you know, I used to be left. I was raised left. Uh, no, you were, you were raised country or kind of white trash, which is uh, center right or sorry, center right. Till I left the left. She did. She left the left. And, uh, we're so lonely. All right. Uh, but, uh, well, when I was in the left. Mm hmm Tell us all about it. We were for free speech. You know, mm -hmm. we, we were for dialogue and argument and, uh, you know. Yeah, and if you, you know, if somebody wanted, you're like, hey, I think we should have a, a museum to commemorate the Holocaust so people are aware of it so we have a never again. And some people are like, no, we shouldn't have a museum. We should have a garden because people can go there and contemplate it with like little stands. And, and you know, we need somebody who here who just doesn't believe it ever happened to argue with, you know, in the name of free speech, just for the shit of it. Compromise. I mean, all these things. Yes, that's right. Uh, it, it, Roseanne, uh, you do realize that the Republicans just fired their speaker and are about to fire their second one because of compromise. You do, you do recognize that, I think. Things are not, have no part in the left, nor surprisingly. Is it, it really? Because it's weird how the bipartisan bills all happen when we're in charge. Isn't that funny? You, you think we just tell you guys to go fuck yourself? It doesn't, any talk of labor rights. What? Wait, what? Hold on. Back the fuck up. Surprisingly, does it, any talk of labor rights? Okay, that that just like a brain skip. Nor, surprisingly, does it, any talk of labor rights. Okay, first of all, what the, what the, what? You literally had the president... Uh, Joe Biden's the first president to walk a fucking picket line. He stood by all the picketing workers. He helped negotiate the, the, the train contract, which is like the biggest wage advance they've had in years. So they wouldn't have to strike. What the, what do you, any talk? Good fucking God. Right. We're dealing. What do you mean? Right? No, not right. No, you're wearing glasses. You're supposed to at least pretend to be smart. With a completely new left, and we're dealing with a completely different Democratic Party. I mean, the Democratic Party was a one-party state, kind of, in the 19, from the 1930s, FDR, all the way to Reagan. No, uh, this motherfucker always wants to make the case that, uh, that, the, Dem the Dixiecrats are still in the Democratic Party and didn't get pissed because of civil rights during the 60s, leave and become Republicans, which is exactly what fucking happened. Because there was a Republican Party, but it was kind of almost like a token opposition. Right. And then they got a huge influx of racist Southerners during the civil rights movement. And suddenly that added to their numbers and made them almost equal. But the Democrats weren't uh, the same Democrats as we have today. Well, I mean, time does move in a linear fashion forward. Uh, they didn't want to take away your free speech rights. They didn't want to shut you down. They didn't want to. Yeah, but it, it, we didn't have social media and people, you know, trying to 
stop people from getting vaccinated and shit like that. And even still, that's just terms of service. Put you in jail? Yeah, nobody's getting put in jail for what they say. Um, Nobody. Nobody is getting put in jail for what they... And let's say, I guess, technically speaking, if you threaten to murder someone or you uh, provoke a riot, I think those are... Uh, the, but that's, that's not new. And we've had police states in our history. Have we? What do you mean, the suspension of habeas corpus during the fucking Civil War? Now, the problem is, uh, you're going to get a different, uh, a little disagreement from Roseanne there, because technically that was Northern history. And she would argue, I think, amongst her new maggot friends, that uh, her history is Confederate history. And therefore, there wasn't a suspension of habeas corpus because they didn't recognize the Constitution of the United States. They had their own fucking Constitution. But they've tended to be, for a limited time, wartime, or they have tended to focus on, well, blacks obviously lived in a police state in the slavery South and in, in the end, the post-bellum era. But the idea of turning the whole... Con that wasn't a police state. That was slavery. It, it, if there was a police state, you wouldn't have even had lynchings because everything would have been a coordinated act when someone was hung. I guess, unless you're using policing in air quotes. Country into a police state and, and criminalizing the entire opposition and trying to lock up the leader of the opposition party, this is unheard of. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, granted, it's never happened before because we've never had a crimey criminal like Donald Trump before, and he committed some of these crimes after he left office like a fucking moron. Um, so we have taken a dark turn in our country's politics. And um, and as you say, the goal of this film, people have seen it happening a little over here, digital censorship, criminalization of political differences. Yeah, I, I get, uh, first of all, there's no criminalization of political differences. Donald Trump is not being tried for being politically different. He fucking cheated on his taxes. He lied to banks. He he stole classified documents he didn't have the fucking right to have. He, he tried to manipulate the election. At, like he, he interfered with the function of our democracy. All that shit. It wasn't because we don't like his policies. We voted him out for that. Differences, political prisoners. Political prisoners. Uh, uh, show me some of the Jan Sixers that didn't assault someone or enter the Capitol on Jan 6 that are still in jail right now. I'll wait. We try to bring Criminalization this. of... Um... Brain farts? I hope not. Are you going to be in big trouble? Somebody who dissents against the uh, sanctified narrative, too. Y yeah, um... You, you do realize uh, Joe Biden is the president and not the Pope. Um, Copernicus. Right. And, and all <laughs> right. What do you mean right? No, not right. What the fuck did she even... Explain to me what she, you actually think she meant. Don't say right. Tell me what the, what the fuck that was. Often the narrative, they act like they're fighting misinformation and disinformation. Uh huh. But they are the number one purveyors of disinformation. Yeah, that's what's like astounding. Things, that's so uh -huh. like, totally, totally. You can tell as we all sit here, uh, basically in a in a Pier One ad, how hard it is to be a conservative these days. You're not even allowed to say anything into this mic while listening to your own voice in these headphones as it goes out over several different media sites and is recorded in perpetuity on the internet, which is forever. Mark of the beast. Yeah. You know, if you take the vaccine, you can't get COVID. Right. Uh, you yeah, that wasn't a statement at all. The, the, the idea was that you couldn't pass it at one point. That was the only mistake because we were going with the traditional vaccine idea, which the Johnson and Johnson arguably did. But the, the vast majority of the myocardia reactions happened with the traditional vaccine, whereas the mRNAs didn't. But you could pass it, but it wouldn't hospitalize you in the process. And that was the very distinct difference between this particular brand of COVID. Can, if you take the vaccine, you can give someone COVID. This is coming out of the government. Yeah. And it's false. Yeah, because it was the premise at the time. That was, that was how it used to be with standard vaccines most of the time. There'd be some bleed through if it was able to mutate. This mutated so fast it could bounce through again. You could recatch it. But if you had the vaccine, you wouldn't end up in the hospital taking a bed from somebody who needed it. I'm sorry. I'm talking like an adult to these fucking wackos. False. But if you challenge it, they... 
then Donald Trump will, oh, right, because he was president when this happened. And, and you, yeah, mm -hmm. for misinformation when they are the instruments of, they are the agents of misinformation. Well, yeah. they're all in bed together. and it Well, yeah. I mean, it, mi it might look like Dinesh and Roseanne and her son are all in a giant bed together, but that's not what she's talking about, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like she they're all pulling their wagons in a circle. Well, it's and which is wrong because never put your wagon in the bed. The, the wheels mark the sheets, and these are brand new. And they are horrified at the prospect that their uh, web of power mm -hmm. could be broken. Ugh, yeah. If the web, if the web of power, the coordination with the Illuminati and the Pentaverit and the Rothschilds and obviously uh, the Zionist Israelis and uh, the Nazis that are in the CIA that have been running it since the 30s, and uh, the Russians um, but uh, that are being puppeted by uh, the, the, Czech, the Slavic, Czechoslovakian people or something, and Barack Obama. Like, they're all working together like they would. Yeah, so doesn't I that mean that it kind of is being broken in some ways? Because if they weren't under some kind of feeling of threat they wouldn't be saying anything yeah that's why i can barely hear you over the sound of the black helicopters outside your window and why uh you have to pull the drapes tight and you can't even enjoy your view anymore because you're under constant surveillance in the police police state i um can can we just kind of generally be amazed at the dipshittery in this conversation are we allowed to just go, what the ever-loving shit?